Well, the Washington wine industry uh, 30 years ago was, you know, was really almost too small to be called an industry. Uh, maybe 20, 30 wineries, most of them uh, making wine out of their basements or garage. Today, we're about the size of Napa Valley, and I would argue that our reputation today is equal to Napa Valley uh, amongst the, con uh, the, the connoisseurs around the world. So we haven't just grown in size in a very short period, we've grown in reputation and um, awareness of the quality of our wines. What's interesting though is that the foundation of the industry is today what it was then. It's those same wineries that dedicated themselves to constant learning and constant improvement of quality. Uh, La Col, Leonetti, Woodward Canyon, Quesita Creek, and I have to say the continual efforts of uh, Chateau Saint-Michel and its sister winery Columbia Crest uh, are still as important to the industry today as they were then. And uh, that's, you know, uh, particularly uh, uh, of all of those people, I think Marty deserves perhaps some of the, the highest applause because he has uh, accomplished kind of the dual uh, of what we've, what we've all tried to do of, of, of being able to, to grow to a, a relatively large size while continuing to make super quality wines. As you know, we are one of the earliest wineries in Washington State. We were the third winery in Walla Walla Valley, the 20th winery in the state. And so we've actually grown up with the industry and been kind of on the forefront of the industry. And as we looked at who we are and the winery that we've grown into, um, we feel like we're stronger in terms of our winemaking talent, we're stronger in terms of our viticultural skills. And looking to the future, we felt like we needed to create a, a new imagery for the brand that spoke to the quality of the wines that we're making. And we've chosen a very elegant, historic look of the schoolhouse and have used that now as the basis uh, for all of our labels. As we considered implementing some of these changes for La Col, we wanted to elevate our name to the top of the label and create a distinct identity between the Columbia Valley wines and our Walla Walla wines, yet provide this integration across the whole portfolio of wines so you immediately recognize us as the brand. And for years, people would say La Col and not number 41, and so we've de-emphasized the number 41, but kept it because we were school district number 41. My family and staff are hugely excited about this rebranding that we're doing for La Col. We've been strategic in thinking how to tighten the window of rolling out the new label. So we uh, have used the new package on all of our 2008 red wines, which will come out this summer, and we split the 2009 white wines so that we'll launch the new uh, label package with the white wines about the same time that the red wines come out. So the window of launch will be tight sometime between May and August of 2011. We sat down and reflected on the winery that we've become. We realized that uh, not only was it the quality of the wines we have in our bottle, but it was the respect that we've gained over 30 years of quality winemaking and viticultural practices that really has made us the number one winery in the Walla Walla Valley.